Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dev Town. So I hope guys that you all are enjoying this amazing series of the Excel. So guys, as in the previous video, I have told you how you can do different operations using the properties. Let me show you here. Okay, so cell styles. I have told you how you can color the background of the cell. So guys, I hope that that thing is very much clear. If you have not watched that video, guys, please visit to our playlist and watch that video. So everything is very much clear. So now, guys, what I will tell you today, I will tell you about how you can center and merge the items in the Excel. Guys, I have told you this thing earlier also, but today we will learn about that in the very deep. Okay, I will also show you some of the more features of it. So guys, what we have to do, we have to select some cells and then have to go to the merge and center. Okay, now after merge and center, I will write down a heading here. Okay, and guys, as you can see now, the, all the cells are merged and the text I have written is in the center. So now let me change the size of the text. Let me select it first. Perfect yeah so guys now what we can do with this thing guys we can align the elements in it okay so for an example let if i click here so the text will be at the top left okay now it is at the middle wait a second okay so these are the different different properties by which we can align the text here see guys Okay, and apart from it, I can also align it manually. Okay, by again and again clicking on it. Okay, guys, see how easy it is. Okay, and if I want to do some more thing, I will use it. Okay, wait a second. Where is my text? Yeah, perfect. See, guys. Let me open this. Okay. So guys, you can also align your item from the here. You can change the indent from here. You can use the wrap text. Okay. And you can also use these different, different properties. See if I now click the, okay. See my text is being changed. Okay. Alignment is changed. If now I also want to see. Hmm. Okay, let me change the indent. See, now if I change the indent, now I our element is at the same position as it was. Okay, guys, guys, it is very easy thing to use. Guys, I hope that this thing is very much clear. Okay, guys, and please subscribe to our channel Dev Town and please like this video and also hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from the Dev Town. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you.